Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a little bit of a problem. Now, you guys know when I first started this Minecraft world, it wasn't just me. Bazaar and Cray were there as well, but they abandoned us to take on the Ender Dragon by ourselves. But I've just heard that Baz may or may not have rejoined the world on his stream. Now, I don't know what he's done. I don't know if he's done anything good. I don't know if he's done anything bad. Maybe he finally fixed up all the buildings and made them look better because that's seriously on my to-do list. But I've got no idea what to expect so we're about to join in the world and we're about to see if Baza was good bad or what the hell's happened in my absence i swear to god i'm actually gonna be pissed if he's if he's at, in any way orchestrated a prison escape there will be blood because they're not prisoners they're prisoners with jobs and i need them to fund my enchanting hurry up and load oh my god what's he done why are the sheep oh my god i see sheep out of the pen there's water bloody everywhere skeletons on fire okay the jail looks intact the jail what is that in the middle of the jail all right we gotta start okay first things first i gotta patch up this hole i don't know what's in that chest let's uh let's fix this quickly he's literally broken me fish tank you can do a lot of things to a man but a man's fish tank is sacred you don't touch a man's fish tank and get away with it what do you not Game, I'm sorry. There is a pane of glass here. Am I crazy? And all right. I, okay. We first, I, I gotta get a pane of glass. Oh my God. What is, all right. I don't know what's going on here. The fish tank is clearly drunk and it's not behaving properly. I'm gonna have to fix that later. All right. Where is my armor? Oh my God. He's even washed away my gold armor. Okay. What is, what does this say? This wouldn't have happened if you drank some refreshing Baz water. Here's a free sample. <laughs> God damn it. We've, we have secured some Baz water that apparently has no effects. I don't even know how we made that, dude. I'm chucking this out the window where it belongs in the trash. He's ruined me bloody house. And most importantly, he's ruined my fish tank. We're going to fix this place. We're going to restore it to its former glory. Yes, Baz, there is a plumbing issue that you started. Anything else gone wrong in here? No, okay. The rest of this looks secure. Let's keep exploring. What has he done to my world? Okay, what's this? Free diamonds. You know, I'm no expert, but I get the feel there ain't no free diamonds down there. Unless, what if there is? What if it's a bait and switch? What if he actually went and found? Wait, I'm leaving long claw up here. I'm not risking long claw. All my armor. All right, I'm just going to put this chest down here. We're going to chuck all our good stuff into it. The bow, all of this. God, I got a lot of bows. Definitely put the diamond sword in there. And all right. There could actually be diamond down here, guys. That's all I'm saying. We don't know that there's not diamond down here. Could be the old Baza bait and switch. No, okay. No, it was... <laughs> it was literally just a hole with lava in it. There was no diamond. I probably should have guessed that. Now I have to go and smelt more stone to create this... Oh my God. Okay, cut this out of here. What else is there? All right, all the prisoners are still in bed. That part's fine. Boris. God damn it. Bar where's Boris? You had one job, Boris. Secure the jail. Clearly people have peed in here. Oh my god, there's sheep everywhere. Wait, where is Pete? You're not Pete? That's not Pete. Where's Pete? Pete deserved better. I've taken him to somewhere safer. <laughs> if you really want to see him again, go to negative 481 7492. Oh my god, I swear to god, Baz, if you have touched Pete the sheep, not only because I love Pete the sheep, but also because my girlfriend probably won't talk to me again. Okay, we need to go to those coordinates and find Pete the sheep. We're off, boys. All right, don't worry, Pete. I'm coming for you, buddy. You're going to be back in your boat in no time. What's this? Baz, okay, he's opened a Baz water stall. He's opened... He's opened a Baz water shop in the middle of the jail. You know what? I'm going to let that one stand. Prisoners need hydration. We're going at negative 481-7492. All right, guys. This is where we got to go. We're in search of Pete the sheep. Oh, my God. Look at this. This is clearly a bed that Baz put down. Get that out of here. Just thinking them all lost out here. Are you Pete? Oh, God. That's not Pete. Pete, I'm coming for you. Don't be afraid. Wait. We should, we should almost be here. Oops. I got the wrong sheep. You son of a bitch. He didn't even keep the sheep properly. He escaped. All right. Negative 444-59603. I'm coming, Pete. That looks like Pete. That's not Pete. Get out of here, you stupid. I never talked enough about Pete. I never showed him how much I truly loved him. I never fed him enough wheat or apples. Oh my God. What did you do to my sheep farm? They've literally all escaped. Oh my God. Why? Why would you do this? 603. Wait. Oh my god. He's saying he's down here. No way. Did you get him underwater? Wait, what? What does he mean? Look up. What the f No way! What is that? <laughs> do you guys see that dot? Oh my god. Alright, don't worry, sheep. I'm gonna come deal with you all later. And by deal with you, I mean probably kill you. 
But right now, oh my god, that dot up in the sky. No freaking way, dude. Okay, this is actually kind of sick. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie anymore. That's actually sick. All right, we got to get up there, though. Uh, although, you know what? I got to make another pickaxe before we go. I'm worried that I don't have... Because we're going to have to pick our way all the way back down. All right, here we go. We got a whole lot of pickaxes. And I get the feeling that we're going to need them. You know what? I just don't like the fact that I have two diamond swords on me right now. I'm putting, I'm putting some of this stuff in the chest. If we're about to go do something that looks incredibly dumb, I'm putting my diamond armor and all my good stuff in here. It's time for us to go on a naked mission to rescue Pete the sheep. Don't worry, buddy, I'm coming. Here we go, the journey begins. It's gonna be a long way to the top, but it's gonna be worth it. Pete is worth it. All right, anyone else getting vertigo? You guys got a fear of heights? I don't have a fear of heights. I'm just asking for a friend. Oh my God, look at my cows. Yo, this place looks sick from up here. Oh my God, we're going above the clouds. This is sick. Where is he? Oh my god, he's actually up there! Bro, I just realized. How the f are we gonna get him down? Don't worry, Pete, I'm coming! Bro, that sheep is actually up there right now. Oh my god, he's trapped. You can see him just bouncing around up there. Oh my god, we're getting very high. I didn't even know you could build this high in Minecraft, dude. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. Pete, 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 Pete. Okay, he looks like he's floating right now, and that makes me kind of nervous. Keep going, even higher. Even higher. I'm almost there, Pete. I'm almost there. Wait, is he tied to that post? Is that the only reason he's floating? Oh my god. Okay, wait, what the hell? I actually don't have enough blocks. I just built all the way up here, and I actually don't know if I have enough blocks. Don't worry, Pete. I'm coming for you, buddy. Nothing will stop this rescue attempt. You're doing fine, Pete. You're doing fine. Oh my god, no way. No way! I'm a I actually think I'm gonna be like three blocks short. This can't be happening. This literally can't be happening. If I build stairs. Come on, Pete. Pete! Hey, is that, is, I gotta check that it's actually Pete. Pete! It is Pete! You can see the name! Oh my god, Pete! Alright. Now. <laughs> Shit. How the hell am I gonna get him down? Oh no, 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 dude! Okay, here's my thinking right now. There is water directly beneath. Pete! No! Pete! No! Oh my god! What happened? No! Pete! 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 <laughs> this is all that's left. Pete. Just a couple of bits of wool. How did that happen? How did that happen? How did he die? Oh no! My girlfriend's gonna kill me. This is literally all we have left of Pete the sheep. Just a couple of raw muttons and a bit of wool. No, Philip, don't, don't. Why are you looking like you want to eat it? You're not eating. You're not eating Pete the sheep. Oh my God. I can't believe that evil, psychotic son of a gun killed Pete the sheep. Get out of here, creeper. I'm not even afraid of blowing up anymore. Not even the pain of exploding could compare to the pain of losing Pete. I'm never gonna forgive that man. I don't know how that happened. I literally don't know how that happened. It must have like counted as fall damage when he hit the platform that I was trying to save him with. I don't know. Oh, it's okay. I finally know what we can put right here. A monument to Pete the sheep. That's what this is gonna be. We're gonna build the greatest monument the world has ever seen. All right, I need to put his remains in this chest just for safekeeping for now. We're gonna build him the greatest monument, the greatest gravestone that ever existed for any sheep ever. Right here, pride of place next to the nether portal. All right, first things first, we need to collect a whole lot of white wool. Only the whitest wool will do for his memorial. Come on, everyone, back in the pen. You all know you love living in here, don't you? You love living in this little confined space. Hey, oi, 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 where do you guys think you're going? Get back here. Yes, good, good sheep, good sheep. Yep, everyone in here. Well done. And there we go, all the sheep are back together. Now we've just got to worry about the ones who didn't go into the cage. All right, guys, all the other escaped sheep have uh, disappeared. And in a totally unrelated note, I found this big pile of raw mutton and wool. So that's nice. Now back to building Pete the Sheep's memorial. That's it, just, oh my God, seeing him all the way up there still makes me so sad. All right. Time to start building his memorial. We're gonna build a beautiful giant sheep face. Exactly how Pete looked, so that he'll always be remembered. I'm really not good at pixel art, I'm not gonna lie, guys. You could probably already tell from, from seeing what I'm doing, but I'm trying real hard. Ah, another llama trader. Oh wait, my llamas have disappeared as well. Baz got rid of my llamas as well. 
Well, this is a fortunate encounter we've had today. Yep, nothing I really need to buy. Oh, no. Oh, sir. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Sir, 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 stay calm. Stay calm. Shh, 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 Everything's okay. Everything's okay, Lambus. Everything's fine. Look, you're gonna be okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, Philip, 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 chill. Philip, 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 these are friends. Llamas are friends, not food. Philip! Philip, don't kill the llamas! Here you go, you tie here. You stupid llamas, I'm trying to save your life here. Philip is a fiercely loyal animal. He'll kill you without a second thought. All right, you guys gonna chill. I'm already having a bad day, all right? I'm trying to build my... Okay, you know what? I need you guys to go in the timeout corner. Thank you. Okay, how long are you guys gonna spit for before you chill out? I get it. I killed your owner. It's unfortunate. All right, gotta make the pink wool that we need. Thank you very much. How much pink wool do I need? I may or may not be following a tutorial. All right, I've almost got everything that I need. The only thing we're missing is I need to make quartz blocks for his eyes, as well as a couple of coal blocks, but I've already got the coal I need for that, obviously. And the annoying thing is I can't remember where I left all the stuff we got last time we went to the nether. So basically, we got to go on another nether expedition. Woohoo! But for Pete the sheep, it's worth it. Here we go. And I need... Two of them. All right, there we go. We got our coal blocks. Let's put the coal blocks in. Oh my God, it's almost done. There's only one thing left. Let's take our sword. Long claw. You're coming with me, buddy. It's time for us to attack the nether. All right, where's that nether quartz? Oh, up there. All right, I've spotted some. And up there as well. Oh my God, this stuff's all over the place. I need a whole bunch of this stuff. I don't know how much you need to make a single quartz block, but it's quite a bit, right? I think I got quite a bit here. This should easily be enough. Let's get back to Pete. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to be coming back for you later. I got some big nether plans ahead. We're about to make the nether my biatch. But first things first, we need to finish with Pete. Oh, it's raining. If that's not an omen for how sad it is that Pete the sheep's gone. I don't know what else is. All right, let's forge this quartz into two blocks to complete the monument. Oh, I didn't even need that much. Oh, we got a ton. All right, here we go. The final blocks in our tribute to Pete the Sheep. Right there. And right there. It's almost like he's alive again. Still with us today. Actually... It's not quite complete yet. I want to make this one little bit cooler. One eternity later. All right, guys, if I look a little bit crazy, it's because I spent the last hour watching redstone tutorials. And I think I built something kind of special here. Long story short, you've got the giant Pete sheep memorial. But it's more than it seems. Because what we're going to do is build a secret entrance behind that contains his remains. And it's gonna be beautiful. All right, I'm excavating all of this. We need to give Pete the biggest memorial room the world's ever seen. I mean, maybe not the biggest, but pretty big. Big enough for a sheep. He's gonna have a lot more space than all those sheep out the back, that's for sure. Oh my God, this is gonna be so beautiful. I'm gonna put glowstone right here. It's gonna be like a glowstone pathway to the remains of Pete the sheep. And then here, we will build an altar. Unlike any altar ever seen, this is gonna make a king's tomb. Seem like a peasant's grave. Nothing's too good for Pete. Nothing. Oh my god, I need to get gold. We, we, we're gonna get gold. I definitely need gold for this. Oh my god, I can make five gold blocks. Give me all that. And on the wall behind him, it will lie on a pedestal of gold. And behind him will be a wall of solid gold, showing how much he was worth to me. Oh, this room is looking good, dude. I gotta get one last little bit of smooth stone. And then I think we're pretty much done. It's time to collect Pete's remains and take him inside his final resting place. Come on, Pete. Get out of your box. There we go. We have his wool. We have his mutton. And we have his coffin. Here we go, guys. Pete's final resting place. Put him in. The mutton. You know what? We gotta spread that out. He deserves to take up as much space inside that coffin as he needs. Here lies Pete. 2019 to 2019. Rip. It's beautiful. It's everything I ever dreamed of. But wait, there's something missing. Oh my god, I know what else this needs. Pete might not have had a lot of friends in this life, but he definitely had one. So I don't know how many of you guys remember, but Pete used to literally sit out there on the lake all day in his little boat. Along with his one friend, other than me, obviously, who was his best friend. But he had one other friend, which was this villager right here. Used to sit in the back of the boat. Pete was the captain. 
You get a name, Pete's friend, and you need to get out of that boat, young man. I need I need the boat, and I need you out of it. Come on. How do I get someone out of the boat? Okay, the, the golem's looking at me menacingly. I really don't want to, like... Come on, please get out of the boat. Please get out of the boat. Don't look at me, golem. No! Oh, God. Okay, we gotta go. Golem doesn't like me. Come on, bro. Be cool. Be cool. I'm just trying to make a memorial for my friend, Pete. You remember Pete? He used to live here. Run, 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 run. Come on. Ha-ha, you stupid iron golem. Get me now, baby. I'm in here with the boat and you're out there, idiot. All right, let's try this again. Okay, I don't actually want to hit him because I don't want to get like a bad reputation. But what we got to do is I want to drop that boat. I need to make sure it's Pete's boat that we end up holding. All right, I'm going to destroy the boat. Come on, there we go. Come on, boat. There we go. Okay, boat's destroyed. This one's Pete's friend. Here. There we go. Okay, Pete's friend is in. I'm out of here, boys. Now it's time to orchestrate my escape. What? What? The golem got into my secure facility. How did he get in? Oh my god, I left a corner! I'm literally an idiot. Long claws in there. I can't afford to lose it. All right, new plan. Come on, golem. Here, yeah, climb out. Climb out, bro. Climb out this way. Hey, buddy. Right, I'm getting all my stuff. Oh, he seems like he's stuck in a corner. All right, I'm going to try and get him out. God, I got to do this so quickly. All right, here we go. Get me in the boat. We're out of here. We got Pete's friend. Now I got to get him up onto the mainland. We're almost there, buddy. You can almost be with Pete forever. All right, all right. Where's the boat? Yeah, here you go. And there you go. He's back in. All right, we got him, boys. You're going back. You're back with Pete now. He, he, okay, he apparently learned to become a librarian very spontaneously. That's okay. Pete was always an avid supporter of education. And... Ta-da! And now you're with Pete forever. It's looking good. There's only one thing missing. You guys remember back in, like, Egyptian times, Pharaoh... Pharaohs? Whichever one of them it is. Pharaohs used to have a guardian that would go with them to the afterlife. That person would literally just sit there in their tomb... Until they until they died. So that is exactly what we're giving Pete. Because he deserves it. He's going to have his best friend on one side. And a sheep guardian on the other. We just got to go find one. Who wants the honor of being Pete the sheep's eternal bodyguard? And go with him into the afterlife. It's a very honorable role, let me assure you. The only rule is you can't be, you can't be a white sheep. I don't want to confuse you with the real Pete. Alright, come on. Come out here, buddy. Alright, there you go. You've been selected to be Pete the Sheep's bodyguard. It's an incredibly good role. You just gotta come with me. God, I can't believe I've spent like three hours making a Pete the Sheep memorial. Look, it took a long time to find all the materials for this thing. And then I had to, you know, learn how to do redstone from scratch. It was a pretty big operation. But now, finally, after all this time, it's done. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a sad day. We lost one of our all-time best friends, Pete the Sheep. But we gained a beautiful memorial for him. Inside lie his remains. Only some wool and some mutton left. But he's here with Pete's friend. A guardian sheep to take him into the afterlife. I literally spent all the gold I had on this memorial. And let me tell you, it was worth it. And the best part, if Baz ever comes back to this server... He's never gonna know that it's even there. This mechanism's actually, like, really cool, though. Like, not gonna lie. I'm, pre I'm pretty proud. I don't know about you guys. I'm pretty proud of this. This is this is probably the single best thing that I have or ever will build. This village is selling fire aspect. This guy. Oh, crap. I didn't bring the books. I swear to God, if he resets, like, happened with the last guy. Oh, my God. Where are my books? Where are my books? Where are my books? Where are my books? Where are my freaking books, dude? They're up here. Please tell me he sells it. Oh, my God. He does. Yes. Holy crap, we got it. Oh, I bought two of them just to be safe. Let's upgrade our sword one more time and then we're ready for the nether. All right, how much is this going to cost me? I went and literally spent an hour killing skeletons uh, because I was initially going to put the looting two book on, which cost 35. But now we got fire aspect. I'm going to do that instead. I don't know how much this is going to cost, but it can't be 35, right? Oh my God. It's still 33 for one fire aspect, dude. That is disgusting. And I'm still going to do it. How much would it be to put another one on? Oh my god. Okay, we've got too expensive. I'm pretty sure that means we literally can't add anything else onto that sword. That is like a maximum upgraded sword right there. Okay, I think we got everything we need for this journey. Pay our respects one last time. I, I gotta go in there again. I just love seeing this thing open. Oh, that's the coolest thing I've ever built ever in Minecraft. Pete's friend is still there. He's no longer a librarian the way it should be. The Guardian is still standing strong by his pole. And the mutton chops are still looking really, really delicious. Alright, goodbye, Pete. I'm going to the nether in your honor. 
to get revenge for all the things that were done to you. All right, first things first, I need to actually move the entire nether portal. All right, I destroyed the previous gate. I moved the wall forward. Let's rebuild this thing. Now, let's see if this takes us back to essentially the same spot. I remember something like every block in the overworld is like 10 blocks in the nether. But I don't know if that's how this is going to work if we've completely destroyed our previous nether portal. Are we going to go to a new place? Are we going to spawn right next to a fortress? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh my god, I have literally every single valuable thing I own on me right now. Oh, what the hell? We literally came back, not even to a slightly different spot. Oh yeah, I also forgot. You guys been telling me for ages I need to make a shield. So I finally got one. All right, we got this giant thing here to cross. I reckon I'm going to build a bit of a bridge. Oh my god, this is really bloody scary, dude. And all right, we've made it. I want to end up making this thing wider, but right now that's going to have to do. God, I know I'm like digging up right here. And I know this is relatively safe because I can see where I'm going. But I was getting PTSD to the last time I did this. We dug straight into lava. And I lost everything that I cared about in this world. Wait, where's the top? We should be at the top by now. Okay, I really don't like this. I'm going back. I'm just going to dig up the side. All right, this is a whole new area. I got to put some torches down up here. This is the big thing I'm worried about. Losing my way and getting completely lost. As well as dropping into lava again. All right, what's over the edge here? I feel like there could be a fortress around any corner. Oh my god. I actually called that dude. <laughs> oh, whoa, it's down there as well. All right, what's going to be the best way for us to get there? So if I were to dig down a little bit of a staircase. These blocks right here, I reckon that'll do it. I mean, it's literally right next to the lava, but I think we'll be fine. All right, Fortress, I'm not afraid of you. Okay, we're gonna have to build our way down the rest of the way. This is getting a little bit nerve-wracking. Oh my God, I'm so close. It's right there. We've arrived at the Fortress, boys! What the freaking hell is that thing? That looks kind of scary. I'm going down. We gotta be on guard here, guys. Oh, whoa, this thing goes to ages. I wanna explore this direction real quick. Let's just see how far this goes. And does it go anywhere interesting? All right, this is where the fortress ends. So I found that. I feel like I could probably use that to actually get back to our nether port. I bet you all the loot's kept over at that tower. That's where we gotta get to. Let's get, whoa, what are you? That's one of the spinning things. Let's take it out. I got fire resistance on this guy. Holy crap! Okay, you gotta get back. And you gotta get back. Oh my god. Why are my hearts all stone? Bro, I can't die here. What does stone heart mean? What is that effect? Oh, that must mean that you can't regen health. Okay, that's kind of terrifying. Oi! This is my fortress now, sucker. I didn't bring my bow. I'm lit I'm actually an idiot. I didn't bring my bow. Alright, what do we got up here? Is that? Oh my god, it's a spawner. It's a spawner! I thought this was where you guys kept the treasure, not death! Jesus, let's get out of here. You gotta, you need to die. You literally need to go. Thank you very much. What do we get? Oh, we got a blaze rod, dude. All right, there we go. I blocked it with the shield. I'm good at this. Okay, I'm guessing that means I cannot block them from firing at me. All right, let's just eat a little bit more food. You're out of here, Blaze. There better be loot here. I didn't come to fight a fortress just so I couldn't get any loot. That would be the biggest scam in the history of scams. Come on, fortress. I know you're hiding a chest in here. Oh, it'll be in that building for sure. All right, what do you got for me? A pool of lava. That's not very fun. And, ooh, what are these? Nether warts. Don't mind if I do. Doesn't exactly sound tasty. Never uh, really enjoyed the taste of warts, but uh, I'll take them all the same. But this still isn't loot. Where is the loot? Is there not a single chest in this entire place? Where are you keeping the treasure? Oh my god, it's another one of the big guys. Stay the hell away from me. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. I came down here with Longclaw. I put my life on the line and for what? Well, honestly, I reckon that spawner is gonna come in hella usefulness very, very soon when I need to farm up more blaze rods. Let me see what I can do with them quickly. Google, blaze rods. All right, I use them to make potions. Interesting. All right, it spotted me. We gotta go. We gotta get the hell out of here. Stay the Flipping. I only have a sword. I don't have a bow. I can't hit him. All right, I'm getting out of this place. God, it's been a rough day today. First, we lose Pete the sheep. Then we find a nether fortress that doesn't even have any loot in it. Why would you build a fortress and not put loot in it? That's the literal point of a fortress. Was it magma blocks people were telling me to get? I think people were telling me to get magma blocks because I can like use them to make like an updraft in my elevator near the house. All right, come on, magma blocks. Oh my god. Yep. Okay. I probably should have guessed they burn. That should be enough. Give me it all. Oh my god. Get me out of here. I got magma blocks and I'm ready to use them. All right. Here we go. Magma blocks, eh? 
Now, how do I use these? I put them there, and there, and there, and there, and there. How do you make a... Oh, come on. People were very clear. That just burns me. That doesn't make me go up faster. Ah, uh, okay. I've Googled it, and long story short, and unless I'm wrong again, which I very well might be, we're gonna use the soul sand block to build an elevator that pulls me down, and then the magma to build one that that pushes me up, or or vice versa. I think it's vice versa. But yeah, that's gonna require a little bit of rejigging of our platform. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's gonna be us done for today. It's been a very, very trying time. We lost Pete the Sheep, but I like to think we've honored him in one of the best ways possible because this thing is pretty freaking awesome. I think we can all agree. Guys, I'm determined it's time for us to increase our weapons arsenal. The fight with the Ender Dragon is getting ever, ever closer. So, in the next episode, Philip, you and I, we're going to be going on an adventure to find the Trident of the Oceans. That's, I, I hear it's cool and powerful. And these guys keep trying to sell me Trident books, so I feel like I may as well get one. But guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, maybe chuck a like down below and hit subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But as always, I will see you legends in the next one. Bye-bye.